Hello, everybody, and welcome to the second year anniversary of this channel. I was thinking about making a video for this because, well, I've made a video last year, so might as well make another one. I didn't really have anything special planned for this year, so I think I'm probably going to keep it, you know, to this video. Mainly because I had a lot of stuff going on already, and as you can see by how many videos I've uploaded lately, I've been recording quite a lot. Especially in, you know, the spare time, I've recorded a bunch to have pre-recorded so that um, if I wanted to do another series at the same time, I could. As you can see by how many has been uploaded. Um, but yeah. It's April Fool's Day, which is unfortunately the anniversary date of my channel. I've thought about changing it, but uh, like, but that would require making another channel, and uh, yeah, that's not that's not efficient. <coughs> anyway, um, to talk about some things. Um, I have currently got Metroid Dread. I'm not working on it yet, though. I wanted to play it with my sister first before I actually play it here, simply because that's something she really enjoyed and wanted to see for herself, so I'm not gonna rob her of that. However, judging by the fact that I have cruddy memory, especially with recent games I've played, sometimes, it depends on the game, I may have a bad time with that one. I've actually thought about replaying Super Metroid here just to and playing it as fast as I possibly can to try to get back into the feel of Metroid Dread or not back in the feel of Metroid Dread what am I saying back in the feel of Metroid I've not played Metroid Dread disclaimer never played it um or even heard about about it really I all the only thing I know is that apparently there's enemies that come at you and stuff like that and it freaks out a lot of people that's about all I know anyway so Things that have been going on with me, I've currently been writing my manga. It's been going actually pretty okay. I've trying to get over some things like thinking that my art might not be the best that it could be. But you know, I think that one thing is a definite, your art will improve as you go on. So, you know, that's kind of my shtick right now. Um, of using that to improve my art, because ones like Oda definitely did improve over time. Um, so I'm just gonna keep it at that. And recording goes, I had intended to do Final Fantasy Tactics actually for a long time, because it's one game that I actually have tons of knowledge in, because my sister and I played the game a lot as an understatement. Um, in fact, my sister and I wouldn't even beat the game on our second run. We would always save, which I wish I could do, but it doesn't seem like I can. But we would always save on an extra save file, just in case. You should always do that with RPGs, just saying. For the one uh, guy who's been commenting a lot lately, saying that, you know, he doesn't play a lot of RPGs. I don't know if he's going to be listening to this, but if you do, just bear in mind that you know, with RPGs, it's good to take your time and go through things at your own pace. Um, don't feel like you have to rush into anything. Don't feel like you have to do any of that. Just take your time with your first experience, because it'll it'll be great with that. Um, but also, some advice is, like, you know, if I can remember what my thought was, I thought it was important. Um... Yeah, oh yeah. For RPGs, you want to have saved on another file, especially if it's an RPG that you have never played, because some RPGs, not all of them, but some of them, will lock you out of things, or they will do something really funny. Uh, they will um, suddenly have a huge difficulty uh, spike, and you may not be prepared for that. So what I would always do is I would make several saves, as I would be going through the game. Sort of as a safety net. No pun intended there. In fact, um, it's to prevent the fact if a game does do the difficulty spike thing and you are not prepared for it, that you can go back and level up in case of emergencies like that. So like, you get, you play through the story and you're like, hmm, 
So there's gonna be a difficulty spike here. Good thing I made a save so I can go back and train or get something. Or if you needed to, you can just look up what you need to do. Um, which is something I also had to do. Um, like it normally in for, in games you don't have to worry too much about saving on multiple save files. In fact, a lot of games these days require you to only have one, which is bonkers. It's Blibbin' bonkers. Like, give me all the saves. Back in the days of PlayStation, you could have so many saves. Like, even on Studio Coden 1 and 2, you can have so many saves. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, it, it really satisfies my need to have save files in every slot when I'm doing one playthrough, by the way. One playthrough, and I will max out all the saves that a game has. Simply because... I like that insurance. If there's something I need to go back and get, or something I want to show off, or something I want to do, it's always good to have those saves back then so you could just quickly rewrite re your entire thing. Especially if you had something happen in the game where you had to go back and play it again. Like I've been saying. Um, also, don't... Another tip of advice. Don't feel bad if you have to look up a guide. Like, say, a Let's Player, I, like me, or just looking up a written guide. Some people do better with written guides for games, some people do better with video footage of showing you actually where it is. And I have to tell you, I was never a person who was very good at reading this, like, what you're supposed to do. I was always better at doing it. And, like, whenever I would see that, I would be like, Okay, so this is a text description of this environment, but I don't know exactly where that environment is because I can't see it. So then when the, like, you know, the pictures came out, when they, people could do pictures on stuff like that, and when people were doing video uh, gameplays, that was really great for me because I cannot read a guide and then expect to know where to go if it's, like, a new game. Like, I cannot do that. Um... Though I do have, actually, a written guide I made for myself, for ones like Suicoden, where I have to go and get all the characters, but other than that... Yeah. Other than that, I don't really use guides, actually. I kind of just go... Um... These days. Unless I'm really stuck, will I use a guide, but it's still good to use a guide if it's like... If you're new to RPGs, or if you're new to games in general that are, uh, like, they have really tough, uh, things in them. It's a really good idea to look up a guide. Um, I know I would basically have to do that for Final Fantasy 2, or, sorry, 4, which I need to still beat, um, but I've actually thought about just replaying that one in general. Um, I probably won't be blind anymore because I've already gotten to the end of the game, and... Despite the fact that I haven't published it yet, I did fight the final boss, so I know a lot of the stuff that goes on now. Um, unfortunately, a lot of that uh, recording was on my Kilpackard, which is now dead. And pretty sure my uh, hard drive is also dead now, so that's, that's a problem. Uh, but yeah, going through series is... <laughs> Cat, she suddenly decided it's time to give kisses. No, no, not my microphone. So anyway. Series that I have done. I intend to beat all the series that are currently being uploaded. Um, like, that was my main philosophy when I did the... Um, like, New Year's resolution. For Final Fantasy Tactics, however, you can expect to see that honestly whenever I feel like uploading it. And... Because I have been recording it in my spare time, at least a couple episodes a day, for the last few days. Um, and it's been an experience. I've always wanted to do that Let's Play. In fact, it was one of my first ideas for one. The only thing that bothers me for recording it... <coughs> cat. And posting it every day. Like, say, Suicoden and uh, Spyro now is that... Well... Here's the issue. Final Fantasy Tactics is a very, very, very... Poof, cat. Poof, 
<laughs> she wants to be a part of the two-year anniversary despite the fact that she wasn't there for the first year. Anyway. So, my experience with Final Fantasy Tactics, I will be getting practically everything. And I will be explaining a lot for those of you who have never played the game before. So that you can have an easy time with it, where I had a friggin' difficult time when I first played that game. My goodness. Anyway. Because the game is so long and it has a lot of long battles, it's probably gonna be one of my more edited series. I don't know if you could really say that, because I don't really edit videos, because I think it pulls the wool over the eyes of the people who are watching it. The two big no-nos that I will never do on this channel just say, um, I will never show my face. So you can expect that. I will never show my face. I will also, um, never, like, cut out a video so much to where you don't even really recognize the game anymore. I've seen so many people edit videos, and then you feel like, hey, I would really love this game, you know, it's a really great game. But then when you actually play it, you find out that it's nothing but a encounter mess. Like, you get into nothing but battles all the time. All the time. And because the people edited so much, you have no clue that it's like that until you actually play it yourself. I've seen so many games that were like that, so many games that were just edited to be on Bolivian, and I'm just like, the games were made to be games, they were meant to be played for however much time they were meant to be played, and if you edit it that much, it gives a false sense of gameplay to the people watching it, and it's like pulling the wool over the eyes of the viewers, like it's- that's not the way the game is played, and yeah, I wanted it to keep it as real as possible. The only edits I've really made have been interruptions in any of my videos. I've never made them just because I needed to farm. Take that back. Just because of encounters. Let me take that back. Encounters, I have pretty much never cut out. Because encounters are like the lifeblood of the game. Like, it's basically what you're going to be fighting. And, you know, if you cut all those out, it, like I said, it's it's not good for the viewer experience. I've experienced that as a viewer, and I was like, if I make an account on YouTube to record videos that I play, I do not want to do that. Because I experienced that as a viewer, and it is beans. It's literally beans. It's just not good. And crap. Sorry about that, I had an interruption. So to continue that thought... Yeah, I won't be doing that. It, it pulls the wool over, you know, you guys' eyes, and... I always decided that if I was to make Let's Plays, I would never edit them to that extent. Um, it, at that point, it becomes purely entertainment, and it's nothing about the game anymore, and also it's... When I make these videos, I intend for them to not just be about, you know, help, not just, like, making you guys laugh or having a good time. It's also to give you guys some information that you could use in your own playthroughs and to help you succeed in whatever game I play or whatever I do. Um, like, that's the main goal for me, is to make sure that people are aware of certain things that are in games so that they can, you know, get these things for themselves if they want. Um, and even if they never get them at all, at least they'll know something that they didn't before when they, um, watch my video. Like, that's my been my main goal, is like, because I was always called an information sponge as a kid, I would always absorb as much information as I possibly could, and then I could relate, relay that to other people. And I was always thinking that, since I always knew so much about, you know, these kinds of games, that it would be nice to give that information to everybody else, because I would get some of this information by just tinkering around with the game all my, like, spare time as a kid, just fooling around, messing around, seeing what I could do. And there's kind of some funny things in there. I have a lot of funny stories, as you could probably tell, from me constantly talking about how, you know, I would, you know, play games and not farm. Which was always fun as an RPG. Not farm in the sense of, like, grind pretty hard to get levels. I would just not kill anything. And I would just try to get to the story. 
which, as you could probably imagine, wasn't good. Um, it wasn't until I found out about Let's Playing, because of uh, Deathmic. Deathmic is a German Let's Player, and he's definitely a very good one. Very good uh, Let's Player. Um, but yeah, I really, really, um, like, found out about that from his videos, and I didn't even know that Let's Playing was a thing until I had seen his videos. Um, it's just sad that him, like others, are pretty underrated. Um, but yeah. Like, so there's some something, things going on is like, uh, yeah. For my videos, I will be doing the videos that I'm currently playing until completion. As far as other videos I've done, I'm still on the fence of Flavin's Quest. Aladdin's Quest is a series that I started. I only have like five episodes of it, and I haven't finished it. And the reason is, is because that game is really good, but the menus are pretty confusing, and for me, as much as I like playing the game in my spare time, I found out that when I was recording it, that I was running into some problems, uh, specifically with my eyes. That's one game that, unfortunately, if you play it, it's a very, very, very 8-bit almost style. The graphics are very, 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 very in your face. It's very, 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 you know, pix- like, not pixelated, but very, uh, neon in colors, and it hurts my eyes. I thought about deleting it just so that, you know, people wouldn't get hope to, hopes up for a series that I wasn't complete, because I did that already for many other series that I had done on this channel. Um, but I'm also redoing them. Specifically, like, Spyro. I replayed Suikoden, uh, because I messed up on Suikoden. Uh, the power- I was playing it during a thunderstorm. When you do that, be mindful when you're playing on old consoles, or even some of the new ones. Like, even the Wii. If you play during a thunderstorm, and you happen to save during it, or you happen to, you know, not save, or just anything in general, so long as you're playing the game while you're have a thunderstorm, it will wipe your m entire memory card. It will wipe your mem save, and that is just all she wrote. I live in the light lightning capital of the world, so yeah, not great for me when it comes to recording during thunderstorms. I... I generally, though, will be replaying all the games that I had played up to this point. Don't worry if, if there's a series on my channel, I've definitely made a resolve to finish it. As far as ones like Deadly Sin 2... I'm sorry about that taking so long. Because I had meant to finish that as with Skyborn. But my heel Packard broke around that time, and unfortunately... Uh, so did my save. The save was local. It's a Steam game, but it, the save was local, which means that if you save it, it's only going to be on your computer that you had it on. Which ain't great uh, when it's that kind of situation. Um, Bahamut Laguna will be playing soon. Um, I intended to play that way earlier in the year, but unfortunately I got held up. Um, and there's also Illusion of Gaia. Now, that game gave me a lot of problems, but I think I will be finishing that at some point, um, as well. Those are the games that I am currently on the fence over whether or not I will be finishing. And if I never do end up finishing them, you can see them being wiped from the channel, and I'll work on something else and then finish that, because the last thing I want is for my channel to have a lot of games that I've never completed. So yeah. That's gonna be my main focus point. There's also been some funny things. I've gotten so many comments from you guys saying, uh, like, is this your first time playing the game? Or is this, like, is it like, have you played this game before? And I'm like, yes, I have. In fact, um, a lot of the games that have been suggested to me 
recently have been... I've already played them on the channel. So that's kind of funny. I guess it coincides with the fact that, you know, not too many people go back and look at your old Let's Plays. You have to kind of trick them into it. You kind of have to put them on your, like, actual channel page. Instead of them clicking, hit, clicking playlist and then just scrolling. I've always clicked playlist and just scrolled for a lot of the people I watch, so it's always been funny that not too many people do that. So I actually ch changed up my uh, channel page, the front page of it, and I put all the JRPGs in one slot, all the RPGs in one slot, all the Su Suicoden games in one slot, and so far and so forth. I'll be doing that for any series that I make, I'll be putting them in the same shtick, and, you know, RPGs and likewise will be in the same thing. I need to make one for horror games, considering the fact I played Ib from Next Door and Witch's House. Check those out if you like horror games. Um, like, if you like Witch's House, I played that. If you like Ib, I played that. If you like uh, From Next Door, I also played that. In fact, I played all three of those in the very beginning of my channel. I've actually thought about replaying some of them. I don't quite know if I replayed From Next Door recently. Um, this video will be a long one just because, you know, it's an update video and, and also it's a year video. It can, it can deserve to have way longer time than all my other Let's Plays. Also for Paper Mario, currently undecided. I'm currently at a loss for words on how to do that series. I've actually thought about just replaying it in general. Um, but it depends on how things go. Because honestly, OBS was not kind to me with that series, and it's it's a mess. Luigi's Mansion Blind? I will be attempting to continue that. Um, I have not done so yet, because I've been terrified of it, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I... Eh. I've been terrified of it, but we'll see um, how that goes. I may use it to replace a certain series that's gonna end soon, but... Yeah, I'm currently up to eight episodes in that. I need to finish that. Unfortunately, Avion on the Lost Orb also had a save on my Heal Packard, so... Yeah. I have to replay that game. It's not gonna be fun. Skyward Sword, I cannot replay that, actually. I cannot replay Skyward Sword until I have a Wii Motion Plus controller and also a motion sensor bar. Yeah, I was so glad to play uh, Metroid the other game, actually. Star Ocean. I may complete that. I do not know. Star Ocean's a bit iffy for me because as much as I adore that game, um, it's certainly different. Uh, I may cancel that series actually while I'm making this video. Simply because I want to keep my list of games I've not completed down. So if it's not a game I see myself completing this year, I will most likely be canceling it by meanings, means of just deleting it. I'm not just going to keep that up there uh, for people to get their hopes up and then it never get, ends up coming out. Alright. Zombies Ate My Neighbors I played, but I never actually finished, and it's unfortunate. Um, I do not know if I'm actually going to be able to beat that one. Now, Final Fantasy IV. I need to beat that game. But, I've been debating on entire replay through of that game. Just because there, I did a lot of problems in that series alone. And I would really like to just start over clean with that one. Uh, just because, you know, I had so many issues in that series. And even an issue now where 
if I would have known certain things about the game ahead of time, I would have already farmed or I would have done something, you know, it, it would have really helped. Because I did not know that you're supposed to farm a lot in that game, and because of that, I ended up screwing up a lot in the final battle. The final battle was insanely difficult. Oh yeah, Breath of Fire. It's also a series that I had done. Can't forget that one. I've actually thought about playing 2 and 3. I have them, but I've been debating playing them. Because I'm concerned if they will be just as good as the first one. Uh, I don't like it when games have sequelitis, where they get sick and cough and bleed and die when they have to make a sequel. I also played Tomb Raider Reborn, but I think there's actually an issue with the, uh, like, brightness on that game, so you may have to turn your game up just to watch it, which is unfortunate. Uh, played that game. I also played it on hard mode. Ah, uh, yes. Dun, dun, dun. Nope. Anywho. Also, Golden Sun. That's a series that... I love Golden Sun in the beginning and the middle. But as it starts gearing towards the end, it, it kind of falls apart for me. Um... Because, unfortunately, Golden Sun is a game where you cannot fast travel. You have to walk the entire map, and that also involves encounters, which... In some games, it's great, but in the Golden Sun, it just rubs me the wrong way. Because you walk slow, slowly. You have no options to walk faster. You have little options for certain things, and... I don't know. Like... It, the, the traveling system in Golden Sun just rubs me the wrong way. Anywho. I will still be finishing that, though, because let's face it, I have 40 episodes in that. I need to finish it. I can't just end that series. But anyway. I do believe, though, that I may start playing Ebe off, uh for, like, the night. Because I do like playing horror games. So I might be playing one relatively soon. We'll see. Honestly, I'm very excited. Like, there's so many games still that I have left to play, and I've only played, to me, not that many. Despite the fact that I've gotten almost to a thousand videos already, which is insane. Um, I'm pretty sure it's also counting some of the videos that I deleted um, in that number. But still, it's insane that I've uploaded around a thousand videos to this channel. But, you know, in all honesty, it's it's so great because there's so many games still that I have left to play that I love and I would hope that maybe you guys would enjoy them as well. Still, it's so great. And like I said, I, uh, you know, it's such a great experience to me to see my videos helping people out with if they're stuck in a game or anything like that or that it made a difference. But, I think it's about time to end this video off of this second anniversary slash update video. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything special for this year. I just hope everybody's happy, healthy, and safe. That's it. And I'm not going to be doing, like, any specific series in mind. I don't really think I'm going to be doing a poll. If I do a poll, it will probably be about a video game series to play after, like... Metroid. Because I know, I, the last year's series that I had done was Metroid. Um, that's the, the, the thing I did for the last year's anniversary. Um, was people get to choose what they wanted from the poll for that year. I'm probably going to delete those polls now because it's been a year and then I'll probably reinstate them with series. I'll probably put ones like Harvest Moon and Donkey Kong on there and uh, stuff like that. I have a lot of 
Harvest Moon games. The only ones I don't have are the portable versions. Um, for the DS and 3DS and like. I just never got got into those uh, consoles. But anyway, I have pretty much everything else, so... That would be fun to play. Though it would take forever. What kind of sandbox. So, I'll be seeing you guys in whatever happens next. See you guys then.